guys, it's Alicia. Um, I know that I said that I was going to um, have this review up for you guys next week, but actually through a series of unfortunate events, I am on bed rest. So, that has enlisted me to finish StarCraft by Josephine Angelini and it's beautiful and it's amazing and it's 5 out of 5 stars and I love it. I love it, love it, love it. It's the best book series that I've read since the Mortal Instruments series. Um, I'm very excited about this series. I even said when I put it down I was like, oh my gosh, I finally have a book to read in between the Infernal Devices and in between the mortal instruments, then I was really, really happy with this book. Um, this book, I think personally, is like Percy Jackson and the mortal instruments got married, had a baby, and this is what came out of it. So if you like those two series, or if you like one of those series, you will definitely, definitely like this book. Um, I'm not huge into Greek mythology, which a lot of this book is based on. However, she does so unbelievably well at explaining everything to you if you have any questions that it is like ridiculous like she is so skilled you can definitely tell that theater was her major in college because she's very knowledgeable of this stuff um especially stuff like the odyssey and the iliad she definitely 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 knows what she's talking about um also this book is so good in the way that she there's a particular scene in the book that has to do with um him walking down from a widow's walk to um come see her in her room and just just the way that she describes that I mean my heart flip flopped it went down to the pit of my stomach and I was you know like I couldn't breathe and it was just it was amazing I I always know that I found a good author when that stuff happens, and it just made my heart ache for them, and just made me love the book so much more, and I mean, it was even, it definitely didn't take very long, I think, in the whole grand scheme of things to get to that place, um, which I like, because I don't like that kind of stuff happening, you know, 30 pages before the book ends or anything like that. Um, I definitely recommend this book. I think I have even been been seen harassing some of my friends on Goodreads about it. Not my finest moment, but it's definitely worth it. Um, go to your local library, check it out. If they don't have it, ask them to buy it. If you don't want to wait that long, um, I'll provide a link down below for uh, the cheapest place that I found to buy it at. And um, also, I mean, you can also pick it up at, you know, Barnes & Noble Borders, if ever closer to you. Um, okay, so I think I'm going to read the inside of it, and then I'll talk a little bit more about it, and then we'll go to the spoiler section. Read the inside here. Helen Hamilton has spent her entire 16 years trying to hide how different she is. No easy task on an island as small and sheltered as Nantucket. And it's getting harder. Nightmares of a desperate desert journey have Helen waking parched, only to find her sheets damaged by dirt and dust. At school, she's haunted by hallucinations of three women weeping tears of blood. And when Helen first crosses paths with Lucas, she has no way of knowing they're destined to play the leading roles in a tragedy the fates insist on repeating throughout history. Um, I don't think I mentioned this, but the book is published by Harper Teen. So um, most of the books that I think teenagers read are eventually published by Harper Teen. So I definitely think you would like it. Um, it's, you can kind of see how thick the book is. It's misleading, okay? I saw this online. I saw, um, when I pre-ordered it, I did not think this was thick, okay? So you're probably looking at this and you're not thinking it's thick either. I'm letting you know, this is almost a 500 page book. This book is thick, okay? I'm just warning you because when I got it, I seriously thought they sent me the wrong book because I received it like this instead of like this. And so... I was a little confused to why I got this huge book, but it's definitely worth it. Um, it didn't take me that long to get into it. Um, I, I will say, though, at the beginning of the book, the first when you get introduced to um, Claire, her best friend, uh, Kate, her 
I don't even know how to describe Kate. I'll just say like her surrogate mother, Kate. Um, and then you get introduced introduced to her dad, Jerry, and her Helen. Um, I think the beginning like first twenty pages is a little bit slow, but as soon as they start talking about Lucas's family coming and moving into Nantucket, which is an island off of Massachusetts. I just saved you. Now you don't have to go Google it like I did. That's what that is. Just so you, just so you're aware. Um, but they, they are introduced in the beginning. It's a little bit slow, but like I said, when Lucas's family enters in, which is pretty quickly in the beginning of the book, um, it's, it's fast paced. I couldn't, I couldn't turn the page quick enough to be completely honest. I, was so excited to see what she put down on the next page. When you read it, it's like a movie going off in your head. That's that's all I could think. I could definitely tell. You can tell that she has theater experience because it's the way that she writes things and the emotions that she brings to it. It's just, it's amazing. And I think that everyone will love it. So definitely go pick it up. Okay. Now we're going to get to the spoiler section. I'm going to count to three. You're going to have three seconds. To click off this because I don't want you to be spoiled if you haven't read it. And if you do not click out of it, I'll know. Okay, I won't really know, but you don't want to spoil yourself. So just, you know, if you haven't read it, don't watch this section, okay? One, two, three. Alright, spoiler section, here we go. I hate her mother. I hate her mother. I absolutely hate her mother. I don't care if her mom didn't really kill the dude. I don't like her mom. I think her mom's evil. I don't like her. I think she's self-centered. I think she's rude. I think she doesn't think about anybody but herself. And the fact the fact that she's telling her and Lucas that they're related when they're really not just really hurt. So Daphne, I don't like you. I don't like her. And I, I know they're going to find out more stuff that they don't like about her in the next book. I just know they will. I just know that they will, okay, I'm, I'm not pleased with Daphne, I don't like her, okay, and then also, um, what else, I really, I really like Lucas, I feel like Lucas is a really good guy, I feel like a lot of readers would like Lucas, and I just feel like he's a good character, I think she wrote him really well, and, yeah, he's just a decent, good character, and I'm happy that he's in here. Um, I, I really hated Hector. I gotta be upfront about that. I hated Hector. I, I, every time him and Lucas got in a fight, I'm like, please, I know it's, you become this huge outcast if you kill somebody, but come on, he's so annoying, I can't stand him. And then throughout the series, I, like, slowly started to, like, really get into him. Like, I was really, I was like, yeah, man, like, I'm feeling you. This is good. Um, I was surprised that Noelle had as much power in her family as she did. And um, when she took Helen into that room, I seriously thought they were going to, like, mob attack her or something. Like, I thought there was some huge, big thing that they were going to totally, totally freak out about, which they kind of did, but not terribly. I mean, definitely not in the way that I thought they were going to. Um, and then, I'm trying to think of anything else that was really, like, just besides that scene that I just cannot get over when he's standing up on the widow's walk, or no, he's not standing, he's sleep, sleeping on the widow's walk, he's rolling over on the bed, and then he's like, oh my god, no, I can't do this, I have to go down and see her. And he goes down there, and she hears him, and he's just, like, standing at the door, and they can just kind of, like, hear each other breathing, and it's just like, <gasps> like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Like, I had, like, a spaz attack. It was, it was perfection. I had to put the book down. I had to put the book down. It was so good. I was just like, this is just so <laughs> perfect. I don't know. I'm sorry. That was my phone. <laughs> sorry. Um, but, yes, Star Cross Bay. Josephine Angelini, and she's super nice. I'll put her Twitter down below. I totally fangirled all over my Twitter about her, and she actually replied, which most authors don't do, so I was really shocked by that, and I felt, you know, a little bit special, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but <laughs> she's super, super nice, so I'll put that link down below, too. Um, yeah, and I'm just trying to think of 
anything else? What would I need to say? Oh, Cassandra with the fate. Okay, I totally, totally think that she is actually going to fall in love with somebody. At least I hope so a little bit. Because I feel like she talked about it a little more than just, yeah, she can't ever fall in love with anybody because she's controlled by the face and she's so local. I really, really hope that since she got in depth with it, that that means that Cassandra's actually going to, like, find someone. Because I mean, think about it. Like, when you're 14, you're a freshman in high school, okay? Usually, most of the time. And... By, you know, the third book, she's already finished with the second book. The second book comes out in May. And the third book, I mean, she could be at least 15, 16. I mean, most girls start dating when they're around 16. So I just really, I really, really hope that she finds somebody. I just really like her because she's just so cute. And I don't know. I just really liked it. And I also like Jason and Claire. Oh, my gosh. I love them. I love them so much. I love when they argued. I just love, I just loved it. I don't know. I really liked it. So, definitely pick it up. I have an extra review of this that I left on Goodreads. Um, I'll put my Good Ring, my Goodreads, excuse me, link down below, along with my Twitter, along with her Twitter, along with the cheapest price that I found this book at. And it'll probably be hardcover because I really only buy hardcover books. So that'll probably be the list. If you want the paperback, just message me and I'll message you a link with the, um, paperback price and where you can buy that at. All right. Good readings, everybody. Bye.